For decades, nuclear fusion has been seen as the ultimate energy solution, a power source that could provide limitless, clean energy without harmful emissions or dangerous waste. Scientists have been chasing this dream for over half a century. But now, recent breakthroughs suggest we are closer than ever to making it a reality. From breaking fusion records to developing cutting-edge reactor materials, researchers are solving some of the biggest challenges that have held fusion back. In this video, we'll break down these game-changing advancements, explain the science behind fusion energy, and explore what they mean for the future of power generation. In December 2022, researchers at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, LLNL, in California, did something that had never been done before. They achieved fusion ignition. This means that for the first time ever, a fusion reaction produced more energy than the lasers used to start it. Using 192 ultra-powerful laser beams, they blasted a tiny fuel pellet containing deuterium and tritium, generating 3.15 megajoules, MJ, of fusion energy from just 2.05 MJ of input. This was a game-changing moment. For decades, fusion research had been stuck in a cycle of using more energy to start the reaction than it could produce. But this experiment proved that fusion ignition is possible, and to make sure it wasn't a one-time fluke, scientists repeated the success in August 2023, confirming that fusion could consistently generate net energy gain. But the progress didn't stop there. On the other side of the world, in January 2025, China's Experimental Advanced Superconducting Tokamak, East, nicknamed the Artificial Sun, set a new world record. The reactor sustained a plasma reaction at 100 million degrees Celsius for 1,066 seconds. That's nearly 18 minutes of continuous fusion conditions. This milestone proved that we are getting closer to making fusion a practical, long-term energy source. Meanwhile, private companies are also making big leaps. A New Zealand startup called OpenStar recently created plasma at 300,000 degrees Celsius for 20 seconds using a radically different approach. Instead of using massive magnets to control the plasma, they levitate a superconducting magnet inside the plasma itself, creating a simpler and cheaper design that could accelerate the commercialization of fusion energy. The potential impact of fusion energy cannot be overstated. Unlike traditional energy sources, fusion does not produce greenhouse gases, meaning it would help fight climate change while providing constant 24-7 power. Unlike nuclear fission, the method used in today's nuclear reactors, fusion does not create long-lived radioactive waste, making it much safer for both humans and the environment. Another advantage of fusion is that its fuel source is practically unlimited. Fusion relies on hydrogen isotopes like deuterium and tritium, which are found in nature. Deuterium is abundant in seawater, with about 33 grams per cubic meter, meaning we have millions of years worth of fuel available. Tritium, on the other hand, is rare, but it can be produced from lithium, a material that is widely available on Earth. Because fusion fuel is so abundant and renewable, fusion energy could power civilization for centuries, eliminating the need for fossil fuels entirely. But fusion isn't just about powering homes and cities. It could also revolutionize space travel. Current space missions rely on chemical rockets, which are inefficient and require large amounts of fuel. Even nuclear fission propulsion, which NASA is exploring, has significant limitations. But a fusion-powered spacecraft could provide continuous acceleration, allowing humans to travel deeper into space faster than ever before. A journey to Mars, which currently takes six to nine months, could be reduced to just a few weeks with fusion propulsion. If fusion energy is so promising, why don't we have fusion power plants yet? The answer lies in scaling up the technology. 
Right now, fusion reactors are massive, complex, and expensive. The world's largest fusion project, ITER, is expected to produce its first plasma in 2034 and achieve full fusion reactions by 2039. But some private companies, like Commonwealth Fusion Systems and Helion Energy, believe they can build working fusion power plants even sooner, by the 2030s. One of the biggest challenges is fuel production. While deuterium is abundant, tritium is extremely rare. To solve this, fusion reactors must create their own tritium supply. The solution lies in lithium. When neutrons from the fusion reaction hit lithium, they cause it to split and produce tritium. This means that future fusion reactors must integrate lithium walls to breed their own fuel. Another challenge is finding the right materials to withstand the extreme environment inside a fusion reactor. Plasma-facing walls must handle intense heat and radiation. Tungsten is currently the top choice because of its high melting point and durability, but it pollutes the plasma, reducing efficiency. Scientists are now testing beryllium, boron coatings, and liquid lithium walls, which could improve reactor longevity and performance. Finally, cost and commercialization remain hurdles. Fusion reactors must become smaller, cheaper, and more efficient before they can be deployed worldwide. Fortunately, private investment in fusion energy is skyrocketing, and companies are racing to bring fusion to market within the next decade. Despite these challenges, fusion energy is no longer just an idea. It's becoming a reality. With the breakthroughs at LLNL, East, and private companies, we are closer than ever to a world powered by clean, unlimited fusion energy. While challenges remain, scientists are confident that fusion will be commercially viable within the next 20 to 30 years. And if private companies succeed, we could see fusion power on the grid even sooner, possibly in the next 10 years. One thing is certain, Fusion energy will change everything. It will eliminate fossil fuel dependence, cut carbon emissions, and usher in a new era of limitless power, not just for Earth, but for humanity's journey into space. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more science updates. The future is bright, and fusion is lighting the way.